Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my drugstore lipstick explosion. Actually, what happened is I've been in a real lipstick phase and recently you may have seen my videos that I did about these new Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips lipsticks and they are $37 a tube and this is my favorite one called In Love with Olivia. Love this one. And then I've always got my all-time favorite Charlotte Tilbury, which is Pillow Talk. And then I like Very Victoria, which is a darker kind of a nude. So all three of these lipsticks together cost about $100. And even though I absolutely love these lipsticks, I thought this is crazy to spend $100 on three tubes of lipstick. And I was in Walmart and I thought I'd pick up a nude lipstick. And unfortunately, I picked up $101 it's $101.63 worth of nude lipsticks. And for my $100, I got all this at Walmart. I've got two flower brand lipsticks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks, which is a wonderful formula. It's been around a long time, but it is a total match for those Charlotte Tilburys in terms of quality. I'm convinced of that. If you can find a great color there, you are all set these three NYX Butter Glosses, which I love. These are some of my favorites. And a new NYX Sparkly Gloss called Filler Instinct. Love that name. And then I've got three of these new wonderful Milani Keep It Full Lip Plumpers. Absolutely love those. And then this little tiny guy, which is a Neutrogena Nourishing Lip Balm. And since I purchased all of these drugstore type lipsticks and lip glosses, I thought I'd give you a try on so you can see what I got. First, I'll start out with the Neutrogena Lip Balm. And this is in the color Sunny Berry, which is a wonderful little Your Lips Bit Better nude. There it is. And I'll go ahead and put that on. And it is a beautiful lipstick. And it is a beautiful lipstick for those mornings when you get up and you want kind of a natural look. Or if your lips are dry and you just want a wonderful lip balm. There it is. Now the next two lipsticks are from Flower Beauty, one of my favorite drugstore lipstick brands. And this is a nude lipstick called Spiced Petal, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Pillow Talk. And I think it's very close. That is how it looks there. And here we go. There it is. My next Flower Beauty lipstick is a wonderful blush nude color called Naked Blush. I guess it's got blush right in the name. And there is that color. Very, very pretty. Very classic nude. A little bit of peach in it. Now we're going to go into these Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks, and I've got quite a few of them. And this one is in the color Bear Affair, and here it is. There you go. Ooh, very pretty. Your lips but better nude. This next Revlon lipstick is in a color called Rose Velvet, and here that is, and that's a beautiful darker nude with a little bit of an iridescence to it. Just a touch. Ooh, I love this one. The next Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick is in the color Blushed, and here that is, just a beautiful little frosty nude. There that is. And the next Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick is a very frosty pale nude in 205 Champagne on Ice. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And the next Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick is in the color Blushing Nude. And this is a little bit of a rosy nude, which I do favor this color. I'm really not as much into the orangey corally nudes. I really prefer the rosy nudes. There that is.
and I really think this slightly more intense nude will look great on an evening out on the town. And this last Revlon Super Lustrous lip color is in the color Dare to be Nude. We're doing a lot of nudes lately. We're all daring to be nude. And here we go. Very pretty color. Now I have seven more lip products to show you and they're all lip glosses. And to show you a gloss to its best effect, I'm going to be using this spiced petal as a base and then I'll show you each of the glosses. And I'll go ahead and put on this Flower Beauty Spiced Petal again, which is one of my favorites of all of these. So there is that Spiced Petal. And I've got three NYX Butter Glosses to show you, and these are wonderful, and I would put them up against any high-end gloss out there. I've used them for quite some time. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Fortune Cookie. I wear this actually quite a lot, and there it is, the wonderful little doe foot applicator there. So that is how the Fortune Cookie looks. Very pretty. And the second NYX Butter Gloss I'll be showing you is Creme Brulee, which is another great one. It's been around for quite some time. Same doe foot little applicator. There is Creme Brulee. And there is Fortune Cookie, and there is Creme Brulee. And as you can see, the Creme Brulee is a little bit more rosy. Really like that. There's that Pillow Talk again. And there is the last NYX Butter Gloss, and it's in the color Tiramisu. I don't know if I said that right. Very pretty. And I'll show you all three of those glosses together. There is the Fortune Cookie, the Creme Brulee, and the Tiramisu. And the Tiramisu is the darkest. And if you're just going to get one set of lip glosses and you want to buy them in the drugstore format, I don't think you could go wrong with buying all three of these. Now for the Milani Keep It Full glosses. These are fabulous and they just come out. I'm going to be showing you all three of these. The first is Champagne, the second is Luminoso, and the third is Soft Rose. Here is the Champagne. And it just gives you a little bit of light nude frostiness to any lipstick you're wearing. There it is. Next, we'll use the Luminoso, and actually, Luminoso is the blush that I have on, which is a wonderful Milani blush. Very iconic, wonderful. There we go. Very pretty color. And look how wonderfully this Luminoso gloss goes with the Luminoso blush. Okay, I have the Spice Petal back on again, and I'm going to go in with this Milani Blush in Rosewood, and I've been actually wearing this for about the past two weeks since I first got it. Love this color, a little bit of a rosy nude. Ooh, got a little bit too much there. There's how that looks. Those are the colors of the three Milani Keep It Full lip glosses that I used, and I actually do think there's something in them that makes my lips look a little plumper. Now I'll put that spice petal back on again. And I use that one in part because many of you do wear Pillow Talk, so that will give you a good look at what your normal lipstick or a normal lipstick color would look like with these glosses. And this is the NYX Filler Instinct Gloss, and I believe it's brand new. And it is in the color Sparkling Please. And this is a very beautiful color. And it's basically just a bunch of light sparkle. And it has a lot of shimmer to it. Look how beautiful that is. No matter what lipstick you're wearing, I think this NYX Filler Instinct Gloss would really give it a boost. Well, that was a look at my great drugstore bargain lipstick haul. All of those lipsticks that I just showed you, all however many, I'm not even sure right now, 
all of those versus these in terms of cost. And actually, I think many of those nude lipsticks look just wonderful. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in beauty and anti-aging for us 40, 50, 60 plus women, I hope you'll click that bell to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and share it if you have a friend who'd enjoy it. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been using these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Let's go ahead and choose a card to see what we can think about for today. Ooh, I love this. By spreading loving energy, I attract more love. By spreading loving energy, I attract more love. This is pretty self-evident, but I think it's something that's always good to remember because we all want more love in our life. We want more love, more joy, more gratitude, more good things. And whatever we put out there in life tends to come back to us. The seeds that you sow are the harvest that you reap. So friends, just for today, let's try to remember that love is an energy and let's remember to spread it wherever we go. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.